So the Master of Science Epidemiology course is a very tailored course to prepare the next generation of epidemiologists who can solve problems uh, related to health uh, in the, at the population level. What I mean by that is epidemiologists work as detectives trying to figure out, well, can I trust this intervention? Would that lead to a positive change that is anticipated? So Melbourne School of Population and Global Health has got two or three large master's courses and the second largest is Master of Science Epidemiology which provides students with a cohort experience for students coming from completely different backgrounds and then bringing together the knowledge and skills that then get further furnished with the experts in the industry. That kind of expertise housed within one school uh, is incredible it's it's a unique opportunity for our students in Australia so the master of science epidemiology course gives the skill set or the foundational knowledge that students need to be able to apply their knowledge in public health but most importantly there are different areas in epidemiology for instance genetic epidemiology social epidemiology you know infectious disease epidemiology where students can then specialize so in a way um, this package has been created uh, to be able to provide that foundational knowledge to our students, but then also giving them flexibility to identify their choices and then progress their career further in those specific areas of epidemiology. The Melbourne School of Population and Global Health is based within the health precinct of University of Melbourne. And by that, what I mean is it's in close distance to uh, a number of partner organizations or research organizations, for, for instance, Murdoch Children Research Institute, uh, Peter Dorothy, um, Flory Institute. Um, and we've got industry partnership with Cancer Council Victoria, organizations like Dental Health Services Victoria. So through these industry partnerships, our students are able to sort of amplify their opportunities uh, for prospective employment, but also uh, the research projects that our students do often have um, you know, uh, experts from these organizations as supervisors. So this is an incredible opportunity for students to already establish their networking and connections so that they get uh, a head start uh, as soon as they graduate out of our Master of Science Epidemiology course. So a newly commencing Master of Science Epidemiology students would have an added advantage of either doing faculty internships, uh, which are to give them hands-on experience of epidemiological skills applied within a research group or industry. But on the other hand, as a compulsory component of their Master of Science Epidemiology, they have to do a 25 to 50 credit research project, which means they have to work closely with project supervisors um, to work on different areas of epidemiology, ranging from um, COVID-19 to mental health, to dental health, to cancer, and so on. So our graduates have a variety of opportunities. The more traditional way would be to become an academic, do a PhD, get into academia. And a lot of students have ended up doing that. But a lot of students end up working with research partners in different areas, such as cancer epidemiology, such as um, infectious disease epidemiology, or mental health epidemiology. Due to the data analytical skills they learn, which is highly transferable regardless of the type of job you do, I think they've got an incredible opportunity to use those skills and sort of go in non-traditional pathways as well.